I thought of being an instructor, sir. Top Gun? <laughs> yes, sir. God help us. Thousands of young recruits would follow Maverick into the Navy, while millions more were inspired by the music, fashion, or flying of Top Gun, including Tom Cruise himself. So on this IMD Brief, presented by USAA, producer Jerry Bruckheimer and musician Kenny Loggins will help us explain how Top Gun changed the world. In the summer of 1986, Top Gun soared to the top of the U.S. box office, minting Tom Cruise as a movie star known the worldwide. About three or four years after Top Gun came out, he was prepping a movie. He was in Africa somewhere where there's no internet, there's no television, there's nothing, there's no satellite phones. And kids would run up to him and say, Maverick, Maverick. Producer Jerry Bruckheimer told IMDb about working with Tom Cruise during the press tour for Top Gun Maverick, admitting that despite his own legendary producing career, he's a better producer than I'll ever be. And he's worked with some of the greatest directors in the world, great producers, great writers. And he, he's a sponge, he absorbs it all, he learns. He knows more about all the jobs behind the camera than the people actually doing it. He can do just about anything. That Cruise Can't Do attitude began on Top Gun when he demanded that Bruckheimer and director Tony Scott actually film him in a real F-14 Tomcat for the movie. Famously, Cruise couldn't handle the G-forces and most of that footage hit the cutting room floor. But Tom's obsession with doing the stunts himself never stopped. And in his return to Maverick, not only Tom, but the entire cast will feel the speed, whether they need to or not, as they join crews to fly in the latest jets the Navy has to offer. It is aggressive. You can't act that. The distortion in the face. They're pulling seven and a half HEs. But let's go back to 1986, before Tom's co-stars were following him into the friendly skies, back when young Navy recruits were hoping to be Maverick's wingman for real. This is the greatest advertisement for the U.S. Navy ever. Mm -hmm. They ought to have a recruiting officer in the lobby of every theater. The U.S. Navy may have been watching Siskel and Ebert that night in 86 because they did put recruiting officers in theater lobbies and enlistees skyrocketed by 500%. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Oh, God. But if you didn't enlist or take up flying jets as a hobby and you still wanted a taste of the Top Gun lifestyle, there was always the fashion. Bomber jackets, flight suits, and who could forget the shades. Our deck on this hop will be 10,000 feet. There'll be no engagement below that. Cruz had already popularized the classic Ray-Ban Wayfarers in 1983's Risky Business, but it was the brand's aviators that would see a boom of about 40% in the year after Top Gun. These trends have mostly stuck around, even inspiring this GQ article in 2016 that contests these looks were here to stay. You big stud. Take me to bed and lose me forever. Last but certainly not least is the soundtrack that sold 9 million copies, hit number one for five non-consecutive weeks, and took home a Best Original Song Oscar for Berlin's Top Gun has several iconic musical moments with songs written for the soundtrack, like Berlin's Take My Breath Away but it also repopularized classic tunes like Otis Redding's The Dock of the Bay and The Righteous Brothers. You've lost that love and feeling. Those songs wouldn't make it on the soundtrack until a 1999 special edition reissue, but they have been karaoke standards ever since. One artist who has been on the track list since the very beginning and is also back for more on Maverick is the singer of Danger Zone, Mr. Kenny Loggins, who at the premiere admitted he played hardball with Tom Cruise. You know, when I talked to him about it four years ago, and I said, is Danger Zone in or out? And he said, it can't be Top Gun without Danger Zone. Loggins also offered up a reworked version of his beach volleyball anthem that was a more inclusive duet retitled Playing with the Boys and Girls but Cruz ultimately passed. That's no sweat for Loggins, who admits that Danger Zone has been such a boon for his career that when he hears the words Top Gun, only one image strikes his brain. I think uh, money. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kenny can be our wingman anytime. For more high-flying adventure and trending tales, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.